Hello, this is Deepak Kirbakran with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering team. This video demonstrates how to perform custom installation of SQL Server 2008 R2 Enterprise for ACCCM integrations. ACCCM installation is of two types, namely the standard installation and custom installation. As the name implies, custom installation allows the user to customize the components to be installed as against the standard installation, which follows the predefined templates to be installed in a predefined fashion only. SQL Server 2008 Express Edition gets installed by default in ACCCM Express installation. However, custom installation allows the user to specify the version of SQL Server for ACCCM installation as a default prerequisite. Features like ACCCM High Availability doesn't work with SQL Server 2008 Express. It works only with SQL Server 2008 Standard or Enterprise Edition, which is the reason why Standard or Enterprise Edition is preferred over Express Edition. For advanced features like replication, SQL Server Agent, and reporting services, SQL Server Enterprise Edition or Standard Edition is required to be installed as a part of custom ACCCM installation prerequisites. In this demonstration, we will see how to install SQL Server 2008 Enterprise for ACCCM integrations. This is the installation center for SQL Server 2008 R2 Enterprise Edition, open in my desktop. I click on installation and select new installation or add features to an existing installation. This opens up with a wizard to do the installation. Click on OK for the setup support rules. Click on install to install the setup support files. This prompts to enter the product key. Enter the product key here. Click on next. Accept the license terms and click on Next. Select the SQL Server feature installation and click on Next. Under the features, select Database Engine Services, SQL Server Replication and Full Text Search. Under Shared Features, select the Client Tools Connectivity and select the Management Tools Complete. Also select the SQL Server Connectivity SDK. Click on Next to proceed with the installation. This gives us the status of the install feature. Click on Next. Select the default instance radio button. Click on Next. Click on Next against the Disk Usage Summary. Under the SQL Server Agent, Select NT Authority Network Services. Under the SQL Server Database Engine, select NT Authority Network Service. And for full text and SQL Server Browser, select Local System. Click on Next to proceed with the installation. Under the Authentication Mode, select Mixed Mode. There is SQL Server Authentication and Windows Authentication. Enter the password for the system administrator. Add current users, that is the administrator for this particular system. Click on Next. Click on Next. And now we can see that the SQL Server is ready to install the components which we have selected. Click on Install. The installation would take around 15 to 20 minutes to complete. Click on Close to complete the installation. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful to you. We welcome your comments, questions, or feedback at mentor at avaya.com or at Avaya Mentor on Twitter. For more details and other related technical information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.